introducing first in the blue corner, wearing white and weighing 214 and one quarter pounds. He comes to the ring with a perfect professional record, consisting of 27 straight victories, 22 of which are by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, from Zagreb, Croatia, here is the former undefeated European heavyweight champion and the WBC number one ranked heavyweight challenger in the world, Joko Maravi. Wearing white, trimmed with red, weighing 243 pounds, he comes to the ring tonight with an outstanding professional record. Since capturing Olympic gold in 1988, he has 23 professional victories, 27 by knockout, with only one defeat, and that defeat has been avenged. From London, England, presenting the two-time heavyweight world champion, the reigning and defending WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Good evening, gentlemen. Both of you were given your instructions in the dressing room. Both of you touch gloves. Touch gloves. Touch gloves. The back. I leave it with you. Shannon Briggs managed to get Lewis in trouble in his last fight, a fight for which I think Lewis trained to fight about a minute. Ultimately, wasn't able to put Briggs away until the fifth, but. His punching power will make the difference against most of his opponents. And of course, Lewis goes into every fight, George, trying to remember to throw his jab and looking to land his big right hand. Yeah, by nature, he's got this confidence, almost a little bit of conceit, that he does not have to start the fight off and land the first punch. That gets him into a lot of trouble. As you can see, his opponent came out, faked him, and made him get on the run, only because he doesn't feel like he should take charge quick. Lewis dropping a right hand to the body as though he wants to bring Maverick. Hey, listen, you know, when I say right break, away, Maverick is fighting in an unexpected style. Yeah, you know, he's, take, he's taking charge. You know, the old saying is someone has got to land the first punch. He may as well be the heavyweight champ of the world. Why should you wait and count? And in the first round, Lewis just doesn't take a good punch. Flattens himself out by spacing his feet extremely wide apart and then leaning over to the opponent sometimes as well. Yeah, and so it, it causes him to be in a lot of awkward positions. But if he just stand tall, take charge, let that jab fly out, fake every now and then, do some feints, good right hand by Lewis that time. Lewis looking just to land here in the first round. He's only thrown one real all-out hard right hand. There he throws to the body again. You don't often see Lennox using the right hand of the body. And there's a combination by Mavrovic as he tries to step up the intensity. Sticks the jab right into Lewis's face. Shelko Mavrovic able to land in the first round. Here's a guy who's small, who's quick. He can catch him on the way back. Well, it's interesting. Lennox from the beginning of his professional career has been described by Larry Merchant as a natural counterpuncher. He's Lennox. trained by a guy, Emmanuel Stewart, who specializes in attacking fighters. Box numbers in round number one. Lewis was 14 of 43, throwing 28 jabs. Mavrovich, 7 of 22. Harold Letterman gave the first round to Lennox Lewis. When you're fighting someone who has no fear of you, you're just going to have to take charge. Make him back up for a couple of rounds. I do see some blood. So now Lewis is starting to use his height advantage a little bit. He jabs. Great. So if in fact that's a cut above the right eye, it would be a first. And Lewis has given his opponent a lot of confidence. Unnecessary, he's going to make it rough for him because he backs up. You don't want to back up. Step forward with your jab, bump him, bump him with your big extra weight. Make him decide, hey, I'm getting tired. I got to move out of the way. Looks like just a tiny pinhole cut above Maverick. On rare occasions, Lewis will flash the left hook. 
That was such an important weapon for him in his win over Tommy right, Morrison stop punching, a few stop years break. back. Right okay. Maverick has shown that he can fight a little. He's going to have to fight a lot to change this fight around. Well, he's not busy enough to be winning rounds. He threw only 21 total punches by CompuBox numbers in round two, and Lewis threw 32 jabs among his 41 punches. You're doing a heck of a job on the Mavericks, George. And there's the jab of Lewis snap. Whoa, a good right hand by the Mavericks. Yep, Mavericks came over the top with that right hand. Just the way Vaughn Bean launched right hands over the top last week against Evander Holyfield. Joko Mavrovich, probably the first vegetarian to fight in a heavyweight champion. George, if, if Joko Mavrovich upsets Lennox Lewis, are you going to start grilling tofu on your uh, outdoor barbecue grill? No, 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 no. Tofu grills up very nicely. Yeah, it's nice for those who like it. Now the left jab start to double up with Lennox Lewis. He doesn't do anything afterwards. You got a jab, jab, and then secure your position in the ring so that the other guy backs away. Yeah, that's about as hard a jab as he throws. Maverick, as you could see, tried to throw a right hand over it. His obvious strategy in this let's fight go, so go, far has been uh, go, trying to land right hands, thinking that that's where Lewis is most vulnerable. Hard right hand over the top by Lewis, backs Maverick up. Another right hand knocks him into the corner. No, 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 no. Most aggressive posture so no, no. far for Lewis. That's a no-no, man. I think Lewis should try to win the fight and let the knockout happen by itself. You right uppercut it. lands for Maverick. I mean, lands for Lewis as Maverick was coming in. All right, stop. Hey, Jim, I think I just saw two fights. The, the first three rounds and then the fourth is another fight. In the first three rounds, Lennox looked like a days ago. I had a 2-1 Lewis. But I want to tell you, in the fourth round, he's certainly picking up the pace. I mean, he's fighting a different fight altogether. He's going out. He's throwing shots. Look at that. Jump on him. I drop the right hand. Well, the thing about it, though, you're 240 some odd pounds, maybe 50 by Keep tonight. Up, you don't Keep want to waste Lennox. a lot of energy. Slinging those big white right hands, it comes back to haunt you if this guy's able to survive. Now, all of the people around Step Lewis both of you. expected to be going some rounds tonight. Lennox <laughs> hadn't gone more than five rounds in more than three years. No, 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 no. Good left jab, and you gotta learn how to stay in the pocket. You step and you slide, so you don't have to worry about the guy's counter right hand. That's what Lewis needs to do. Get in the pocket, jab, don't move back afterwards, slide forward. But to the left a little bit. Well, it, it takes a little courage, too, to stay in that pocket. It's like a quarterback. Can't have any fear. You got to believe. Good left hook by Mavrovich. And another, another right left hand. hand. Stop. Stop. So just as other Lewis opponents have found him easy to find in there, guys have landed at significant connect rates against Lewis, and Mavrovich is landing Close to 40% of his punches coming into this round. Just not throwing all that many. Stop. He was only averaging Break. 21 punches per round Stop. in the first three. Malkovich has done a good job, you see. That was a good right hand. He cool. finished hand. the round four. I tried to project Evander Holyfield against Lewis. Coming at him as he, as he does, as we know he would. What do you see happening there? Is Lewis not prepared for that kind of pressure? I think so. It just the, 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 the point tonight is unpredictable. He's come in a lot lighter. Lewis has evidently been training with bigger guys, so he can't get the rhythm on this guy. He's a little quick. It's going to take a moment. Left lands for Lennox Lewis. Of course, the question in a fight between Lewis and Holyfield is who would attack whom? Well, you know Holyfield Stop. attack. Stop. Break. Here, Mavrovich has played the role of counterpuncher and occasionally flurries. Let him, not, let him go. Hold as hold the hold champion, Lennox Let's Lewis. Stop the holding, both Case of in you. point, round four, 42 punches thrown by Lewis. Only 19 counted by CompuBox for Mavrovich. Hard uppercut snaps Mavrovich's head back. Let him go. Lewis can win this fight with his left jab. I don't know why he doesn't continue to throw it. They don't need the extra power that he keeps. As his trainer, Emmanuel Stewart, would like for him to. And when he fails to throw Good the right jab, hand. He throws the jab and stands there. As you 
can see has been the case here. All he has to do is throw it. He doesn't even have to land, yeah. and it chokes off his opponent's Great. punch output. And that Lewis is landing almost all. Good body shot, right hand to the body by Lewis. Right punches. Lewis believes he has is that you start out right hand crazy and stay that way. That's why you good body shot by Lewis. Stop, yep. stop. He's showing more stop, of his weapons break. in the last round and a half. And plus, he's bumping this guy. He's using his extra weight. Bump into him. When you miss him, let him feel the big body. Landed another right uppercut as the round came to a close. Real good uppercut inside, and here's that body shot we were pointing out before. Before that was just a replay of the uppercut. Goodbye, body shot. Lennox Lewis corner gave him some good advice. Said this guy does not counter punch well. Keep taking the fight to him. And Lewis lands a right hand to open the round and comes back with a right and a left. And now Mavrovich's punch output is down to about zero as Lewis attacks and lands another uppercut. Low blow by Lewis. Bernie Stewart pointed out that whenever Lennox is punching, Stop. break. the opponent isn't doing much. He's yeah, bouncing he's back. A puncher. There's another Let sizzling uppercut. For how to fight Lewis was established by Ray Mercer Stop. in his 10-round decision. Lost to Lewis break. May 10, 1996 in Madison Square Garden. The last time Lewis went the distance, it was a very close fight. Lewis got the decision up, by piling up points on his jab. Could have been the best thing for Lennox Lewis. Now he knows about adversity. Knows he's not going to be given everything just because you're champion. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. And the advantage for Lennox Lewis is that he's fought in Europe a lot. So he's accustomed to that stand up style. And As I was saying, Maverick fought that last round almost as if he was conceding. He only threw 15 punches by CompuBox numbers. Now he comes out and starts round seven with a couple of blows, as though he wants to reestablish himself in the fight. But Lewis had an easy time of it in round six, landing 16 of 38, mostly power shot. Five rounds to one, Lennox Lewis. The only round I gave Zelko Mavrovich is the third round. I, I thought in the sixth Stop. round, I mean, Break. Lennox gave him a terrible beating. Break. He thinks that when Lennox hits him with that, that left jab, and, and Mavrovich feels the power, he just stops punching. Goes into a defensive mode like he is now. George Lennox lands every uppercut. Is that because Mavrovich holds his hands I wide apart? Once he found the uppercut, it was like the genie in the bottle. Yeah. Now, now Mavrovich lands an uppercut of his own and says, here's another one. But Lewis just give him the elbows and say, back away. Out there in the, for two more rounds and then jump back on Lewis. Ability is going away and he'll need it. He shouldn't, he shouldn't take it, he shouldn't bring it on to him as much. And trying to block or get away from Lennox Lewis is right. Now Lewis is standing his ground with those big arms, put him up over his head. That's an awful hard defense to penetrate. Oh, hard left did. hand lands for Mavrovich. Flush on the jaw of Lewis. May have done nothing more than to wake the champion up a little bit. Two uppercuts landing flush for Mavrovich. And another, and a right cross, and a left hook. And suddenly it's all Mavrovich as he lands flush on Lennox Lewis with a series of combinations. thought he had it all his own way. And now Lewis cuts loose with a right cross that backs Mavrovich back up. Stop, stop, stop. Break. Boy, and that's when it gets to be rough when a guy 240 somewhat pounds starts leaning on you. Crowd pleasing round for Yelena Balabanic and all the Mavrovich supporters in Connecticut. And went on to the ropes. Maverick landing a series of good punches, but taking one in his own late in the round. Good left followed by a stiff right. And you heard Emmanuel Stewart saying to Lewis, get him out of here. Lewis didn't like what happened in that round. I'm sorry, Stewart didn't. Ooh. 
Landed. Is three the left hook that Lennox is so often reluctant to throw? Yep. Is that the left hook? And there it is. He lands the left hook this time. There we go. Four shots at time. There you go. Another uppercut lands for Lewis. Oh, no, Lewis does nothing, so why shouldn't he throw something? Lewis actually blocked the punch Break. that time. Stop, stop, let him Maravich go. Maravich landed him. the second one. Good right hand by the challenger. Stop. Right hand by Maverick. These fighters are in. Maverick been training for 11 months and go, appears to be go, a go. little bit fresher. Yeah, he's Stand paid his dues. He's lost the weight. Let him go, Lennox. You're still holding. Lewis, you go in the trainer. Good. Well, there are an awful lot of fighters in the heavyweight division who are asleep now as the result of that particular Lewis right hand. But Mavrovich took it. Stay with the speed and have your balance again. There is a good uppercut by Lewis. Perhaps his most effective blow in this fight since he landed a lot of jabs earlier. Manuel Stewart said that this challenger was very, very difficult to look good against. He had some awkward athletic skills, and he's obviously pretty tough hombre, takes a good punch in supreme condition. And a lot of people laughed at that, particularly considering the fact that there were no shortage of pundits who picked Andrew Gulotta to beat Lewis a year ago before Lewis knocked him out in the first. But Maverick has been difficult for the champion. That's the hook that's making a difference now. If Lewis would faint sometime in his right hand, just faint it. And then throw the hook. All right, stop. Yeah, Mavrovich's corner asking him to fake with the right hand and throw a left. Low blow again by Lewis. On the offside away from Cappuccino. Oh, now he talks. Good warning. Who, me? Yeah, right you. Right back with his jab. Comes right back with his jab. He can do this all night. Why he chooses That's not to like is it. a strange thing. As long as you have a good left jab, you don't have to get into a fight. Well, Evander Holyfield went 12 rounds. Von B last weekend. Stop. Now he's using his legs, jabbing. Sometimes you have to concede. I'm not going to get a knockout that easy. I'm going to have to box. You can still earn your money boxing. Well, and when he stands up tall, uses his stature, no, 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 moves no, no, on his no, no, feet no. and fires his jab, who's going to beat him? No one. The guy has, a, has the whole package. He only decides to use it. He allows this guy to just stand in front of him. So you wait on him. If you keep busy with him, he won't punch. He oh, this is a punch we haven't do. seen Lennox Lewis right feature very often in the past. But his awkward opponent is coming in in, in such a uh, an orthodox way. Okay. If you want to win this time, you're gonna have three good rounds. Yes. Usher, side to side and throw. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All the way back. Well, so in case you're wondering whether the scoring might be close going into the tenth round, you would note that CompuBox numbers have Lewis throwing 150 more punches than his opponent to this point in the bout. Harold, how do you have it through now? Jim, I'll tell you, I don't think it's close at all. Even in that big seventh round that Zelko Mavrovich had, at the end of the round, Lennox blasted him with a right hand that had Mavrovich so hard he was hanging on for dear life. I got it eight rounds to one, 89, 82. Lewis is starting to come back with his left hook now every now and then, and it makes a difference. No question. In one, fact, two, three. If he knocks the guy out, which at this point looks unlikely, but if he does get the knockout, I'll predict it's going to come off of a left hook or an uppercut, not the crushing right hand. Well, unless he throws enough of them, one after another, Stop. stepping down. Mavrovich trying his own uppercut as Frank Cappuccino. Good right him. hand. Right hand lead lands for Zelko. Because Lewis stands around and just stands in front of him and says, come on, do something. Standing around with his hands below his waist. Going into the closing rounds. Lennox Lewis bouncing, hopping the jab occasionally. 
coasting on what would appear to be a solid lead on the scorecards against Jelko Mavrovic. There you see the right hand that Mavrovic landed, but he doesn't follow up with anything. A, he's not a big puncher, and Lewis knows it. And B, he's not doing anything about it. Yelena Balabanich not quite as happy as was the case back in round number seven when she thought her man had it going. And you heard Darkie Smith scathingly attacking his fighter between rounds, saying, you're making it easy for him. Frank, step Zuck back. Goal. He's starting to land a good right hand here and there, but he doesn't come back with anything. If he tries to throw three shots, it'd be a little better. When you're fighting a guy who throws one shot at a time like that, you just wait. And we go back to the theme that began the evening. If Lewis's job stop, was to galvanize stop. public support for the notion that Evander Holyfield absolutely must sign to fight him because he's so good, it's unlikely, it seems to me, that he's made that case effectively with the public tonight. I think he should forget about Evander Holyfield and just have a, a dose of that guy who looked in the river and saw himself. Who was that? Narcissism. 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 Yeah, yeah stop. they're narcissists. Hey, you're a champion of the world. Forget those guys. Who are they? Left hook to the body again. Terrific left hook to the body. Lewis has thrown some of his most effective body shots ever in this fight. <laughs> Lennox Lewis, let him go, in let his him go, nine Lennox. heavyweight title defenses, has only gone 12 rounds once. That was against Tony Tucker Boy, five years ago in 1993. Ah. Mavrovich himself has only been in the 12th round one time. So if in fact this round completes, then a minute and a half from now, both fighters will be going to the 12th round for only the second time in their careers. And crowd applauds as they get a little action in the last 30 seconds of round 11. Mavrovich just doesn't have much left. I mean, he's almost rubbery. Ooh, after what he's been trying to do all night. Step back and throw that right hand. So it's Mondo Exhausto for Lennox Lewis as he stares at the possibility of three more frustrating minutes with Zelko Mavrovic. The challenger must have a pretty good chin. He has one. For a 215-pound guy against a big, big heavyweight to take this kind of stuff. Dig down. Right hand lead. Dig down, Lennox. Keep it short and quick. Just dig down. Make sure you balance is right when you hurt. Mavrovic's girlfriend, Yelena Balabar, looking for the moment as though she doesn't really enjoy boxing all that much. Final round. This heavyweight title fight. Come on, come on, first ever in the club. state of Connecticut. First in New England since Ali Liston too. Now, Lewis, Lewis is having some problems with his right eye also here. So I didn't see them work the inch well on it. This guy, you got to go broke. You gotta go broke. If you're the challenger now, you just can't sit back and wait. You just jump on him and forget about it. Well, you heard Darkey Smith asking his fighter for non-stop action in the 12th, and within the limits of his exhaustion, Mavrovic is probably trying to give it to him. You just, you just can't hold back anything. This is your chance to be champion of the world. You can't decide I was waiting. I was cooling off. I was coasting. This guy has really frightened Lewis by taking all those super hard right hands. That is a frightening thing. Load up and hit this guy, and he comes right back the next round. Lewis. And your guy. Whoa. Stop! Stop! Right. Lennox kind of jumping with the right hand lead there. That one lands hard. He's making Lennox Lewis fight. Lennox Lewis. Now, Lennox would be perfectly content to yeah. dance the rest of the round. The other guy makes him fight, but he, he only throws one good right hand at a time. Moments all be captured with James Ward. Oh, thank you so much, George, but there's not much drama here as we come down the stretch of harder than we might have expected to put away a relatively nameless opponent. It happened in Atlanta last Saturday night. It happens here tonight. There's virtually no chance that Lewis could lose the fight at this point. 
but most of his fans and supporters came here not expecting to have to sweat out a 12-round decision against a vegetarian from Croatia who's never been heard of on this side of the planet. I think you sneak a steak Stop. in somewhere in there. Right. <laughs> Maybe one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm putting the meat to Lennox Lewis this round. Huh? They go the distance. Whoa, Seems whoa, to me whoa, that whoa, Lennox whoa, Lewis whoa, was more prepared for a sprint than a long distance race. Might have been a little complacent about this fight, as Evander Holyfield might have been a week ago. Okay, well, it, their attentions, it seems to me, are necessarily focused on sure. each other, day by day, week by week, month by month. How easy is it to go in and try to fight your best fight when you're thinking more about Evander Holyfield when you go to sleep at night than Zelko Mavrovic? The Croatian took a tremendous amount of punishment Unorthodox, awkward, defensive-minded for the most part. Got through the fight. No chance to Ladies win. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Mohegan Sun Casino, we go to the Budweiser scorecards. Tommy Kazmarek has it 119 to 109. Bob Logis scores it 117 to 112. And Francesco Cimale scores it 117 to 111 for the winner by unanimous decision. And still, WBC heavyweight champion of the world. Ooh.